everyone and welcome back to the happy heart i am so glad that you guys came over today to see this stocking stuffer video i love stocking stuffers i make a video every year of what i get my son and um, my husband and i will link those videos here but i love documenting it for you guys love giving you all great ideas too and hopefully it's some stuff you haven't thought of I think stockings are all about just fun and especially kids stockings. So I really wanted to do this video and just show you some of the things that I was getting him this year. I kind of changed it up, you'll notice from last year, and that's okay. I think every year is a little bit different, especially ages and things like that. Um, I noticed that I got him a lot of things last year and they really didn't get played with and I couldn't tell you where they are now. So I really got more like consumable things. Um, my child doesn't have any problem with sugar, doesn't get crazy on it, nothing like that. Um, so I did get kind of a lot of different things like consumable candy and things like that because I thought that would work better this particular year. Everybody does their parenting different and honestly like I just wanted to like throw some ideas out there and let you guys know But I really wanted to document it because stockings are such a fun thing in my family uh, Growing up we had stockings of course Christmas morning of course But on Christmas Eve when we would go to my grandmother's house She would have everybody stocking there was like 15 16 people and there would be all the stockings hung She had this really long fireplace and all the stockings would be hung and she stuffed them all and oh my gosh it was I just loved watching everybody else open everything it really wasn't about like what was in the stocking I could honestly I could care less but I just thought it was this great tradition and I loved that there were so many people there and that we had all these stockings and it was just a really fun thing I remember sitting there even like as a smaller younger child like watching everyone open their stockings and just like watching the joy and so it's always been something that's close to my heart so this year I did get him a few things but mostly it was um, just candy and he is nine years old so that is why probably if he was younger I wouldn't have done so much candy but I did watch my previous video that I will link here from last year and I just felt like I didn't know where that stuff went I didn't know what happened to it I don't even know if he used a lot of it um, or maybe he did I don't know but I was trying to think of what else could I do all right, guys, so without further ado, I'm going to show you what I got my child in his stocking. Um, it might look a little bit different on camera because I had to actually charge my battery. So half of this video was um, a little while ago, and I'm coming back to finish it. But I'm going to show you what is inside his stocking, and at least now you know um, why certain things are in there. So most of the stuff I got from the dollar store, I actually went into the dollar store about a week or two ago while my child was at piano lessons and got everything and then I was like, all right, I'm done, good to go. And I only had like a tiny window, like 20, 25 minutes to get in, get out, pay. And so most of the stuff came from the Dollar Tree. So I told you guys I didn't get him a lot of things, but I did get him a few. I got him these ninja guys that kind of creep on the wall he actually got something similar to this a couple years ago and he thought it was really fun so for a dollar I thought we'd try it out and see if it worked my husband and I found these actually at Walmart um, a long time ago probably a couple months ago and we saw them and we thought it would be good he always talks about wanting to dye his hair I don't know and so we got him these chalk pens that you can like chalk dye your hair and even though it's kind of like some girly colors i just thought it'd be a fun thing for him to do the one thing my child did ask for was he asked for peppermint gum because that is one of his favorites a lot of times with his allowance he'll buy himself peppermint gum and he asked for tic tacs and i have no idea where the tic tac thing came from but i thought it was hilarious so when i was in the dollar store i picked up exactly that i picked up gum and tic tacs so hopefully that will be good picked up some of this baseball gum that's the um 
this gum is actually like the stringy kind. Um, my child is pretty good with gum. I saw these mini gumball machines at the dollar store and I thought this was too cute. So I think that he'll have fun with this and I think that will be kind of a fun different thing. And I liked that it was Christmas colors. Peppermint things, I always end up getting a peppermint stick and then these are actually my favorite so I might just keep these for myself. I forgot they were in this bag. Is it fun when you find scores like that? So I prefaced this video with telling you guys that I did buy him a lot of candy because I was just tired of all the little stuff kind of getting lost and not really knowing if it was used or not used or thrown away. So in the spirit of candy, I got um, a big Santa Claus. And I remember we used to get like big Easter bunnies and things like that. So I thought, you know, you gotta keep the traditions alive. And I also got him these. The thing I like about these is there's not a lot in the packs. So it looks like you got this cool chocolate or this um, like, oh, that's so cute kind of chocolate, but there's not a lot of actual chocolate in here. I think there's like a few pieces in here, I mean three or four, and then I think there's two in here. So ever since Halloween, my child has been obsessed with Tootsie Rolls. I have no idea why, so I got him a thing of Tootsie Rolls that's actually a bank. I know they had these around when we were kids, and I do remember getting them some Christmases or Easter, but I thought this would be only fitting because he's been really into Tootsie Rolls. I got him a couple other regular candies, um, so I did get him regular Skittles, and I got him a Kit Kat. Kit Kats are his favorite right now, and I usually try to find one of the candy canes that has a Kit Kats in them, but I couldn't find one this year, so I made sure I just bought a regular one. And um, most of the time we take these and we just put them in our pantry. And so for like movie nights and stuff, we just get them out. And my child's not a, we don't really have a big problem with like him wanting them all the time or um, just engorging himself, eating a lot of it. So I don't have a lot of those issues. So that's why I can kind of go for stuff like this. Recently, my kid has been obsessed with magic and he has been obsessed with playing cards, like trying to throw them and flick them like with his fingers, like. I don't know, voice, right? Um, and so I got him an extra deck of cards since I was at the dollar store just to, um, in case because I was finding cards all over the house and I'm sure our decks are not complete now. But he's having fun, right? He's building memories, right? Right? Definitely had to get a candy cane. I got a Skittle candy cane because I knew um, that would be something he wanted. He really liked Skittles. Um, it's one of the candies that he'll, you know, his pick of choice candy. So um, I got that instead of M&M's. But this is kind of a tradition. We always get some kind. It's usually um, either big, small, or indifferent. There's always some kind of candy cane with candy in that stocking. If you haven't watched my other stocking stuffer ideas for videos, I'll link those here. Um, but I was explaining in my other stocking stuffer video that last year my husband got me this hubba bubba tape and it's gum. Um, and he got me like a three pack in my stocking last year. And the funny thing was my son was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And I'm like, Really? Okay. And he especially liked the blue one, which I'm not a big fan of things that aren't like red or orange or pink or something like that. No, I was never into like the odd colors, but he really liked this blue gum. So this year, these were at Walmart and they're a dollar. So they're the Hubba Bubba gum and they come in like a tape roll of gum. And he just died last year. I thought they were the greatest things ever. Specifically wanted to make sure I got this blue one. So trying to be a good mom, remember all the things, got the blue gum. So my last random thing that I picked up was I picked up um, four things of Play-Doh, these small things of Play-Doh. They were 50 cents at Walmart and I just picked these up. And the reason I picked these up is I usually don't keep Play-Doh in my house uh, because when he was a little kid, I would just, oh, I didn't want to deal with it. But um, as he grew up, he kind of grew out of Play-Doh and all that, so I was happy to get rid of it. But actually, since we homeschool, if you guys didn't know, and I'll link some videos here about homeschooling, um, I needed some Play-Doh the other day <laughs> to explain something, I think in history, and I, didn't, I figured I had some, and we looked all over, no Play-Doh. So 
I got these tiny little Play-Doh things that I think he will like and then hopefully we can keep them around in case we need them in school again. That is what my child is getting in his stocking this year. Like I told you guys before, he got a lot more consumable items and candy and things like that because I was just tired of buying little things I thought he would like and then really them not getting played with, them getting shoved somewhere, them getting lost. And I figured at least candy will get eaten. If I have to regulate the candy, it's one thing. But, um, you know, special occasions, we can definitely have a few more things of candy. So, of course, this is all my opinion and what works well in my family. I know other people that wouldn't work well. Um, I did see I was watching another channel last night and um, she got her kids like the small little bags of chips and like the small little bags of goldfish and stuff and I thought that was ingenious. And honestly, y'all, if I hadn't been already done, I probably would have got more snacky stuff like that instead of candy, but let's face it, it's all junk. So thank you all for coming over, hanging out with me, and seeing what's in our stockings this year. Um, if you guys have any really good stocking stuffer ideas for kids, I would love for you to leave them in the comments below. I feel like, hey, we should all help each other in this crazy life, so comment down below. Tell us what you're getting your kids, what you are putting in the stockings this year, because hey, us mamas, we all need to share ideas and get help from each other. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next brand new video. Bye for now.